Now we have our list of three-year-olds. It's being whittled down. I'm looking at maybe 25 here. Um, we are going to start with Ail Sun. Ail Sun was turned out. Her GGT had jumped. And you saw how these horses raced when their GGTs were high. I wish I could tell you why. It looks like some sort of virus that swept all over North America. I was talking to people that had thoroughbreds. And their thoroughbreds GGTs were high. Different people over here. Yes's GGT jumped last week for no particular reason so nobody seems to know why or where just that the, the the fact remains that their ggt level their liver count level is high and they can't function with that level up there so it's a matter of uh simply getting the level down and doing the best you can to combat it happening again so that's where we're at right now with ale sun we'll have her into go next week Next week, maybe for Elson, I'll talk to Tim about that. Beach Boutique trained in 57, I'm told. On the right line, still a little bit. I knew it wasn't just that knee. Tim thought maybe the vet said maybe the stifle was bothering a little bit. I still think it's that right front foot. Um, but we'll see. Um, either way, she's strong, ready to go, and fresh and sharp as attack. So Beach Boutique will likely be in to qualify next week. Bottle of red, going to need one more week. That was an exceedingly high liver uh, GGT liver count level was exceedingly high so I suspect uh, she's going to need one more week I would imagine this nail is bothering me it's driving me crazy um, where are we at now Canadian Titan is back jogging now she looked good on the track I saw her take this affiliate spent a lot of time in the stall a long time off so she's going to need a lot of work getting back to the races before we even begin starting to work her heavily she has to go up to the veterinarian and get cleared Right now, she's jogging and jogging sound. Happy with what I've seen from her. Capistrano was another filly that was frustrating and boggling our minds all summer long. Looked like a very good qualifier the other day. 57 last quarter and 29 on a very windy day. Happy with what I saw from her. Changing of the guard. This is our three-year-old we picked up in Ohio. He was first, second, second, fourth, I think, or first, second, fourth, fourth. Uh, we had to scratch him. He had the nine hole, but his, his liver count was 47, which was nowhere near what Bottle of Reds was or Oso Pines or Ale Sons. But at the same time, uh, it came down now. I trained him last Monday. So a week ago, I trained him uh, five days, six days ago in 58 and 4 at the Meadows. Tim said he trained him up again hard yesterday. He's ready to go for Monday afternoon. Compass Rose DC, a little flat the other day. Was she a little flat because they were, they were, there was just a good horse? Or was she a little flat because she's a little flat? I don't know. She's back in to go Monday. We're going to see how she races on Monday. Don't believe me, just watch. He's been racing great all, all along. He's back in to go. Expecting him to be fine. Also, globe trotting will be out for a while. Um, let's say she went out on the 15th, roughly. She's not even coming back in until the end of February. So, uh, and where she goes into, we don't know yet also. Uh, so that's globe trotting. I'll play it alone. His GGT spiked a bit. Entered him in to go. He didn't get in Wednesday. He'll be in to go next week. I'd like to get a couple lines on this guy. We're now in a position where it doesn't matter what I think. If he can't win this class regularly, we have to move him along. So we're in a position right now where here's a, a three-year-old. That was second and 54-4, looked okay, then raced bad, then was scratched. He's back in to go. He'll be back in to go next week. And then after that, a couple of good lines and probably move him along. Uh, Miss Brampton Beast is going to qualify next week, I believe. She was sick last week. Um, she'll be right back at it soon. Muscle Chrome qualified in two minutes. She's going to race next Friday at London probably. Need Your Opinions racing tonight, which was two days ago for you at Mohawk. Path of Totality went out a winner in 2020. We're going to now take that uh, floating chip she had in her knee. She just kept getting sounder and sounder. It was almost a shame, but that chip will bother her again. So uh, I made a deal with myself, with her, I guess, with our clients that we'd race her once more. I thought I could win, which I did. We'll take that chip out and uh, opt to look for an exciting 2021 with Path of Totality. Really blue chip qualifying in another hour and a half at Flambeau Downs. Um, can't wait to see her get back going. Rooney Blue Chip is racing on Monday. Drew the 8-hole, 20-1. to 1. This 8-hole stuff's getting old, isn't it? Um, and I looked, and there's a horse in there that is a stone-cold killer. You guys that are betters out there, Father Time, to me, looking at this class, knowing the horses he's going to race against, is a stone-cold lock to me. I saw this horse race at, at Northfield Park a month ago. Rooney Blue Chip wants no part of Father Time, and I can't imagine many other horses in there do also. 
so again, we're just trying to get some lines on him and get him moved. Spend that money. We gave her three weeks now. We'll give her another three weeks and bring her back in. Spirit of Dio is going to have a good two months, so she's not coming in until mid-January. And worse, again, she's another one. Where is she coming in, too? Trafalgar's sound now. So Trafalgar went from sore to lame to really lame to sound-ish to sound. But why? Nothing blew out of that foot. Can't figure it out. So she's been in her stall. We're going to have uh, give her another week in the stall or so. Then we're going to take her to the vet and get her x-ray and say, okay. What happens sometimes if a horse has an odd fracture somewhere, it'll take a week to 10 days to open up so the x-ray can actually see it. I don't know if there's something there or not, but either way, before we turn her out, we want to make sure that we've covered all our, our bases, so to speak. So we are going to uh, x-ray and fluoroscope that I think it's the left front, might be the right front, I'm not sure, on Trafalgar. Next week, Watch Avenue and Zeb Sunshine are both back going. They'll be racing all winter long for the stable.ca. So those are the three-year-olds. I'll be back in just a minute with a short list of aged horses. Then we'll get into the burns. we got a number of burns to talk about. Be back in just a minute.